So let's take the number 90 miles per hour. A 90 mile an hour fastball is thrown right down the middle of the plate, which gives it an effective velocity of just that, 90 miles an hour. But what if the pitch is thrown in? What if the pitch is thrown away? What if it's high? What if it's low? It changes the reaction time. It may not change the velocity of the pitch, but it does change the reaction time for the hitter. Let's talk about that. You've probably seen Slammers Baseball. Um, they're, they're a name I've known for a long time. And one of the things that, that we find is our guys do have to train year-round. Right? So there's systems that we have set up for that. Guys are placing guys all over the country. So we have three types of velocities. We have actual velocity, which is what the radar gun actually says. Do we have perceived velocity based on where the pitch is actually released? Remember, every foot we're closer to home plate creates a three mile per hour illusion in the hitter. But we're going to talk about effective velocity, EV, by Perry Husbands, who created this. What effective velocity is, is simply stating that the velocity of the pitch is based on its location alone. We have a right handed hitter. According to effective velocity, every three inches that the pitch is thrown inside of the hitter, the pitch acts three miles per hour faster. Every three, mile, every three inches that the ball is thrown away from the hitter, the pitch acts three miles an hour slower. But here's the, S, the X factor. Every two feet that the baseball is elevated, the pitch appears to be four miles per hour harder. So this 90 mile an hour fastball changes based on its location. So this 90 mile an hour fastball here thrown up and into the hitter acts 99. This same 90 mile an hour fastball thrown here acts only 81. So simply by changing the location, we've also changed the velocity, therefore throwing off the timing of the hitter, allowing him to hit the ball softly, which is our primary objective.